Okay, so my appetite is subsiding a lot. You can see I've had about only about five of the chicken wings. I couldn't eat all of the spinach. I couldn't eat all of my vegetables and my tomatoes or my lemons. Uh, yeah, that's basically water. what I had over there. So I am going to take my uh, tomatoes and my lemons. I'll put that in a salsa. And I'm going to concentrate on eating those before my hour is up. Everything else we're going to put away for leftovers. So my eating window is going to be closing in a bit. So I am adding me in one more sugar-free Jello and a quarter cup of can. And like I said, I'm eating from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock today. So I'm going to hear beneath these. I only have about five more minutes. So sabotage, he does that. He does that too. Um, I went to the store this morning and picked up me some stuff. Oh my, I forgot to put it away. I got some spinach. I'm out of that so I can make my smoothies. I got me some ice cream. That's what I forgot to put away because I like the vanilla bean sola. And I have me some strawberries. Um, I want those. Got to have some strawberries this morning with my meal. And then I picked up lamb chops is what I, I got at the store too. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to make lamb chops today. I don't think so. Let's see. My lamb chop. Okay, so there are my lamb chops. Uh, so that was just a few things I picked up at the store. Okay, so this is going to be my cart review of my meal that I had today and today I had a good meal but I did notice today when I was eating that my appetite had subsided a lot my appetite had went way down which is what you can expect when you do the ketogenic diet and then after a while what happens to me is I have to start forcing myself to eat I have to start forcing myself to eat and I try to aim to eat a certain amount of calories and then um, you know the uh, carbs I don't really worry about and then I also try to eat a certain amount of protein I do worry about that okay so what I had today I had some more of my keto chili however this time I had less I only had half a bowl of the chili which came to three grams and 179 calories and uh, to that I also had one piece of the low carb cornbread that I made and that was one gram net carb and 167 calories um, I had some more chicken wing drumettes and I had five of the chicken wing drumettes today and as you know that has no carbs and then it had 500 calories now a lot of uh, the foods that I'm naming the three I just named these are all part of my meal prep that I made uh, to have available in the refrigerator. I have in the refrigerator, I have chili, I have cornbread that's made now, and I have um, chicken wing drumettes. And then also I, I have um, the deluxe uh, vegetables, which is the asparagus, um, the cauliflower, the zucchini, uh, some carrots. I had that, I had uh, a serving of that today. I put more on my plate, but I wasn't able to eat all of it. So I had a serving of that today, which was 2 grams and 20 calories. Um, I also had some seasoned southern style uh, uh, collard greens, the ones uh, from the restaurant. I, I ate the rest of those, and that was about a third cup. 
that was three gram net carbs and 27 calories. I had uh, two strawberries and the strawberries were one gram net carb and four calories. I had a tablespoon of butter that I used to, um, what did I do, my, I, that I put on my vegetables. And that's no carbs and 102 calories. I also made me some guacamole. And when I make guacamole, um, I use the packets because they're just as easy to use. Um, I mean, because they're easier to use than cutting up the vegetables. Now, if you have some cut up vegetables and things like that, you can make um, homemade guacamole and I believe it would be a little less of uh, 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 calories would be about the only difference. Now, the guacamole has no net carbs and it had 60 calories. And also my jello, my jello, and I had two gel snacks today, and that was no carbs and 10 calories. And with that, I had a quarter cup of pecans. And the pecans I added into my jello and then some I ate out of my hand. But pecans are really good to eat. And they are only one gram net carb for that quarter cup and 150 calories but you don't want to overeat them that's easy to do too to overeat nuts um tomato raw tomato slices i had roma tomato i had half a roma tomato again today and that came out to one gram net carb and five calories i love tomatoes you can slice your tomatoes and just season them with some salt and pepper and enjoy them and then i had a few slices of lemon and that was, that came out to one gram net carb and six calories. Um, now for today, I guess I came out with a deficit again because I only had 13 gram net carbs today, it says. So when they come out that little, even if I'm, I wonder sometime if I'd be a little off in what I am uh, measuring here or tracking, and if I am, then I know that still I'm way under my amount of net carbs, which makes me feel really, really good. Then also I had 1,229 calories a day. So 1,229 as far as calories, I got to my 1,200. But I did really well on my exercise. It says that so far on my exercise that I burned 1,345 calories. So that means I had another good deficit today. I ate breakfast or uh, broke my fast at 2 o'clock p.m. today and I ate until 3 o'clock and then right after that I started my fast again and I've just been drinking a lot of uh, liquids and making sure I'm drinking the right stuff to replenish my um, electrolytes and as you can see before I go to bed I'm sipping on uh, a little bit of beef broth and I have in there some um, turmeric, canned pepper, rosemary, and some other really good stuff. Um, oh, I have my notes here. Ate a lot less carbs today. Yes, yes, yes. So today turned out to be a really, really good day. And then also I got to exercise today. I'm going to post a separate video of that because this one is already too long. But I got to exercise today and I exercised for... I know it had to be a good 30 to 45 minutes. It may have been a little bit longer, but I'm going to post that video. And I just want to encourage you to do some type of exercise uh, and it will add to your weight loss. Um, it's supposed to um, make it a little bit more rapid. You know, if you're stuck on a plateau, um, you can do the OMAD diet and the one meal a day when you say OMAD, people say OMAD all the time and I didn't even understand what they were talking about. But the OMAD diet means one meal a day and you can pick whatever time of day that you want to have that meal. And when you have your meal, you want to make sure that you eat enough calories and you want to make sure that, you, and I only say eat enough calories because you want to make sure that you're full enough, especially when you're first starting off. You want to make sure you eat enough food so that you can go between meals. So that's why you're seeing some of my dishes be so large to make sure that I can go between my meals. But also, if you're counting your macros, then um, you may end up with large meals, especially if you're trying to reach just a certain amount of calories. Like I've been falling between 975 and 12, 
12, under 1300. So I have uh, really been enjoying doing the OMAD diet. And um, I wanna, I'm really anxious to see how my results are gonna come out. I can see my body changing. My, honey, my husband has already mentioned to me that he can see my body changing, that it's reshaping and stuff again. So I can't wait until I weigh Monday morning. I can't wait until I weigh so that I can see uh, you know, how much weight I lost if I know I have lost up. So I hope you subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel and share with others so that they won't miss the information that I share. Trust the process, follow the program, and you're going to see results. I'm always going to tell you that. I would like to keep you motivated to stay focused to reach your goals. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that we can keep each other motivated and hold each other accountable. This is the fifth day of uh, my uh, OMAD challenge. And I'd like to say if you still want to join in, you can. You have uh, several days. If you join in tonight, then you will have the weekend. And you can do the OMAD over the weekend. But this is also going to continue for next week. So you still have a chance to get in and get some of these good benefits, okay? Okay. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I know it is rather long. But I want to thank you for watching it. And have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.